This, by the way, this, this, this is the mother of all bubbles. Yeah. Prior to that, everyone said, how could you ever buy a bubble like that? This is this one. Oh, but what a deal. It has corrected right to where this one was. What a great deal. They have a great deal of free cash flow. No shit, Sherlock. I hope they do. Oh, but the free cash flow and the quality of the business. <laughs> you could have said that here all day, every day and completely lost it, right? Your money to here. That's the low. If you take the average of things, what the, here's the average. What do, what do I do? Here's a 30 year average of things. What do I do with the average of things? When it gets to the average of things, do I buy? Okay, we're at the average. I got to buy here. Uh, now you're going to have to buy it down here. Oh, quad two is going to hit. We're above the market multiples average on EV to sales. I think I got to sell some here. Into uh, five quad twos. No, it works both ways, right? This is why you never use a market multiple anywhere in any decision that you make when it comes to asset allocation, longs, shorts, anything. The average of things is for dummies, right? If you don't get that, you're a dummy, right? Maybe we'll write a book called, I don't know, Macro for Dummies, right? By, so again, yeah. it's the average of things versus the particular things. The particular multiple expansion that gave you the all-time bubble highs right here and right here were the best growth rates in American history. The rate of change of growth was accelerating to its fastest points ever seen back here. So if you shorted it in terms of quad two acceleration there or in terms of there, which I didn't, you were a dummy, right? The other thing I was going to say is when we come out of all this, one group of companies that we're, going to, we're, we're probably going to want to buy are the, are the cyclical companies that are going to look expensive, right? Yes. <laughs> Where, you know, so again, you don't necessarily want to buy the cheap companies at the bottom. You want to buy the expensive companies on earnings because you know they're going to then grow their earnings, Sorry. have margin expansion, right? Well done, Jonesy, which, might, which means that the next bull market, it's not a big call. It's just a thought. Once we get through the final quad four and enter quad one, that's where the next bull market's gonna be born out of new things. It's not gonna be born out of the prior bubbles. Crypto crap, whatever you're sitting. Like seriously, are you still buying DocuSign? They're gonna fire 9% of their people, I think they said today, right? Oh, that's a bull, no, no, it's not a bull. <laughs> it's a bear, it's a bear. Like, a, like, a, like Miller said yesterday on Hedge on the Prize, he said, you know, you know bears are, are not like a, a herding animal. <laughs> I'm not part of a herd, you're not part of a herd, okay? So again, herd here first. When we eventually go bullish, we're gonna go bullish on what you go bullish. The only quad that you would buy value over growth is quad one. And the next Oracle doesn't live in Omaha. He was just in Italy and he was just <laughs> staring you in the face. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.